assistant training? It's Dana. Today, we are going to be reading a very, very, very special book that I hope you'll love as much as I do. I know I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, drum roll, please. Today, we are going to be reading my very own Dino Field Guide. Roar! I love this book so much. I use it almost every day to do my dino experiments. I'm gonna be sharing with you a few of my favorite experiments today. Okay, Dino Dana, Dino Field Guide, written by me and with the help of my friends, JJ Johnson, Kristen Sims, and Colleen Russo Johnson. We are gonna start with our first experiment. And it's one of my favorite dinos. I'll give you a hint. It's the hood I'm wearing right now. Our first dino experiment is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's begin. The Tyrannosaurus Rex's name means Tyrant Lizard King. They belong to the theropod group of dinosaurs and they eat meat which means that they're carnivores. They lived at the end of the Cretaceous period and they lived in Western USA, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, Canada. Now we're gonna get to know the T-Rex a little bit better with some dino facts. Tyrannosaurus Rex, they had a massive jaw to deliver a super strong bite. They could bite through bone and they had 60 big teeth, described as lethal bananas. Whoa. Their skull got stronger as they grew up, and T-Rex cousins had feathers, so the T-Rex might have had feathers too. See, I have feathers on my T-Rex hood. They weighed more than 20 bears, and they were longer than a fire truck. They also had a very good sense of smell and they had stereoscopic visions. That means they could see in 3D. Oh, and there's one of my dino pins. Sara helped me make it. They were one of the biggest predators to have ever lived on land. And their main prey were the Triceratops and the Edmontosaurus. Oh, and there's me versus the T-Rex. Pretty big. Okay, on to the dino experiment. Dino experiment 725. Were T-Rexes warm-blooded or cold-blooded? Background research notes. Warm-blooded animals, like us, make their own body heat. That means whether it's warm or cold outside, their body temperature stays the same. Cold-blooded animals get their body heat from the environment. So if it's hot outside, their body temperature is warmer. But if it's cold outside, their body temperature is colder. See, there's some warm-blooded animals. That's my sister, Sara, and that's a chicken. Oh, and those are some cold-blooded animals. That's a fish, and that's a reptile. My plan. To find out if T-Rexes were cold-blooded or warm-blooded, I need to find a way to take their temperature inside where it's warm and outside where it's cold. Good thing it's snowing today. Number one. First, I need to use my thermometer to take the T-Rex's temperature when she's outside. Update, it's 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. See, there's me with the T-Rex outside. Number two. Now I need to lure the T-Rex inside to take her temperature. I'll use chicken to get her inside. Update, Mama T-Rex was way too big to get inside, but her baby came in. Her temperature was also 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. See, there's me inside with the baby T-Rex. Finding, T-Rexes are warm-blooded because their body temperature is the same inside and outside. This means they can control their own body temperature like humans. Warm-blooded wins! I would love to read you all of the dino experiments in my field guide, 
but we would be here for a very long time. Maybe hours. Maybe even days. That's a long time. I hope you enjoyed today's book reading. Until next time, bye!